Hello, wonderful viewers, and welcome back to the Sexology Podcast channel. I'm Dr. Nazani Mo'ali. Today, we'll journey through the intriguing world of positive visualization. We're connecting the dots between its influence on intimate lives and its transformative power in sports. Let's discover how these techniques can be game changer for sexual confidence and athletic prowess. Often, we're told it's all in the mind. This is so true both for our intimate moments and athletic per achievements because our performance, our behavior is connected to our thoughts, emotions, and beliefs. Now let's dive into the sport realm. Elite athletes harness positive visualization to enhance their game. They mentally craft scenarios, sinking the perfect basket, achieving a world record, and mastering a challenging routine. By vividly imagining these triumphs, they're mentally conditioning their brain to replicate these successes. Observe these athletes. In the moments of solitude or during rigorous training, they might visualizing their intended actions. This mental practice strengthens neural connections, priming both mind and body for optimum performance. Let's bring our focus back to sexual confidence. Drawing parallels from athletes, we can visualize enriching positive intimate encounters, conjure a scenario when you are at most confident, experiencing joy and deep connection. Regular encounters with these mental images can reprogram our subconscious, reflecting positivity in real life scenarios. Be it in the athletic field or in the realm of intimacy, the principle remains consistent. Delve deep into visualization, manifest positivity, and witness its tangible influence on reality. In conclusion, positive visual visualization is not a woo-woo exercise. It's something that you can practice every day and see results. Embrace it, hone it, and be amazed at its potential. Thank you so much for joining us today. Make sure you are subscribing to our channel. Stay curious and let us know what do you think about these techniques. Until next time.